Hey everyone, Salesforce Shorts here. In this video, we're just gonna talk about concatenating a field in the account object, okay? So we created a new field just by going into setup, fields and fields and relationships, um, and we just named it concat to keep it nice and easy. And we're gonna use this field that we've got here at the bottom of our page layout in account. So basically we wanna update that field with the account number and the account name after, after that. Okay, so we want it, we want something at the bottom like um, account number and then just a dash and then account name. So I'm gonna go into Dev Console and create create a new Apex class. When I can finally get to it. <laughs> All right, so we've got our name. So I'm just gonna call this account con ACC concat. All right. So inside of this, um, the first thing we want to do is create a list because we want to get a list of all our accounts. So list, oops, list account, um, we'll just call this list ACC equals a SQL query. Okay, so we've got our list of accounts. So inside of this list, we want to find all the fields that we need. So we need ID, we need name, Okay, so I've got the account name. Next is number. So I need to go into, I definitely need this field as well, concat. So let me just chuck this in here. So I've got concat, name, ID, and last but not least, I need the account number. So I'm just gonna select the number and put it in there. And we wanna get this from the account object. All right, and hit save. Um, if you want to learn learn more about SQL queries, check out our other videos. We did do one recently about a whole lot of different SQL queries. So yeah, check that out. Um, so next step for this one is we need to create a new method. So we'll just call this public void um, accounts to update. And inside of this, we'll create a for loop. So for account ACC. So we're just gonna use this list that we got, put that in there, and basically we just wanna run and iterate through this list and update all the accounts in here. So the next step would be, what do we wanna do in here? We want to get the account concat field and we wanna set that as the value of the account, no yeah, account number oopsie so we want to set that as account number plus dash plus acc dot name all right and that is pretty much it so that should do all the magic for that part next step would be just to update the list that we have so i'm going to go down here update list and hit save Ooh, it looks like we've got a error here somewhere. Yeah, sorry, I forgot to put a closing bracket there. So let's just put the update down here inside of our public void and remove that last bracket. I think that'll do. Sweet. So yeah, we've got everything here. Um, starting from the list, uh, we've got our public void running through our list of accounts in the for loop um, and in setting the concat field as the number and the name. So now we're just gonna go into, into debug. You can run this from a trigger if you want, but we're just gonna do this from anonymous window. And to do this, all we need to do is grab the class name and instantiate that. then we want to use our class name plus our method and execute it. So this will run through all the accounts and update it with what we have here. So if we go back to, we can actually see it from the logs. So if we go to logs, you can see we've got our success, success here. 
So if we go down to the bottom, you can see, all right, it's, it went through 13 SQL queries, did th 13 um, DMLs as well. So it looks like it did something. If I go to accounts, you'll see that I've got 13 accounts in the system. Um, so let's just pick any random one. We'll pick number eight down here, go to details, scroll down to the bottom. Okay, you can see no um, dash sample account. So that means it doesn't have an account number. But yeah, let's let's do something quick. Let's put in two, three, four, five there. It's not gonna update yet. But if I go back to my dev console, if we had an Apex trigger for that doesn't update, that'll update it immediately, but we don't. So we're just gonna do this and run that again. Come back in here, refresh the screen, go to details, and there we go. Updated it. So yeah. You can always just add in some error error logic as well. If you don't want it to update, if the account is no, you can you can add in a whole lot of things. But yeah, if you found this video helpful, uh, please subscribe and check out our other videos. Thanks.